in marine industry and most like any other industry, you carry out a risk assessment of any undertaking. Now, the Anam incident, from what we heard from an environmental expert, it appears they did not carry out proper risk assessment and then to put in place our systems that will mitigate against this incident. It is very unfortunate. I think it's a national malaise. I think that's, that should help us to put that in perspective because I don't understand why they will carry out such an undertaking without carrying out proper safety risk assessment. Um, on the inland waterway system, it is sad that there is an institutional neglect of this very vital sector of the economy and we could spend hours to discuss this. Guidado has raised some, some issues there because uh, with 28 states of this nation covered by water, it should have given us a priority. We should have put more attention into the inland waterway system. Uh, in your introduction, you said that Mr. President set up uh, a commission or a committee to look at the safety issues. Again, that is part of the usurpation of the positions of some of our institutions. And that is what inland waterways is suffering. The laws are made clear who is responsible for activities at sea up to the uh, breakwater. And then there's another institution responsible for activities in the inland waterway. So I don't know what they will be asking NIMASA to be taking on this responsibility because they have different expertise. And then there are regulations all over. But let me make this point. Inland Waterways has been the, more or less, the parallel organization of the maritime sector with little attention to its development. The laws have made it so clear that the Inland Waterways Authority should, prop, should actually be the leading organization for inland waterways, travel, activity, safety, you name it. But unfortunately, over the years, not only has it been neglected, other organizations have taken over their responsibility. We even hear Lagos State taking over some of their responsibility until recently that the Supreme Court ruled over it. So we cannot have that state to prevail and then we expect things to continue. Now, in terms of safety of life, I mean, I heard somebody saying that it's not increasing. With our population increasing to over 200 million, you expect the figures to rise and then you expect us to have prepared for this. One of the issues of inland waterways travel that has been neglected over the years is the navigational safety. Unfortunately, on our waters, the navigational equipment are not there. The routes, it's like if you say somebody is driving and blindfolded, what do you expect to happen? Of course, it's going to crash. So, but the inland waterways, if you all, all you see, you see the water. Do you know what is underneath the water? And that's why in better climes, you have navigational channels. You put navigational equipment there so that those who travel on the water and those who navigate those boats, they will know which route to take. You're talking about enforcement, enforcement is an institutional issue. But look at the quality of the boats on our waters. It is sad. So these are things that we could call work in progress. And I believe it calls for presidential intervention. Because with 28 states covered by water, I mean, Gidado alluded to it, there are commercial activities involved, we have transport involved, so many issues. The, our colonial masters saw the importance of the inland waterways and they made it to sure that it contributed to the development of Nigeria. Why have we neglected inland waterways to the extent that people are dying? Let me add quickly, when the air, and I want to allude to the air industry, when planes were dropping like birds like stone in the air 
the president at that time, President Obasanjo, made sure that he took presidential action to revive the issue. I think at this point now, we need a presidential intervention, not only to salvage our inland waterways for the development of this economy, but for, to ensure safety of lives. We see different agents now jumping into the inland waterways area, carrying out various activities to the neglect of the uh, prime organization responsible to this. These are critical issues. Let the organization responsible carry out these functions. If there's a need for presidential intervention, so be it. And then let the organization that do not have any need to be there, let them move away from there. Let us empower the Inland Waterways Authority. If they are failing, we will ask them questions. But I think I, let's give other people time to react.